Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'll be drawing a wave using colored pencil. And one of my first suggestions is to use tone paper because we're going to be working with different shades of gray and white. It'll show up easier on the paper. All right, so let's get started. When drawing water, there's two important steps that you should know. One, you need a very accurate sketch from your reference photo. Because we're dealing with water in motion, there's definitely a lot of detail going on. So really try hard to copy down all those little shapes and lines. All right, another very important thing to know is choosing your colors. Make sure your colored pencils are as close to the colors in the reference photo as possible. This is a common mistake when starting off with colored pencils. And I can tell you this because I've done this myself. And it only makes sense. All right, let's speed it up now. So a majority of the colors I chose were blue, but you will see me sneak in from time to time colors like cadmium yellow lemon. Again, really pay attention to your reference photo. Because we're dealing with water, there's a lot of hints of greens and yellows. So make sure you study that photo. Also, when I'm working with these bright yellows and greens, I'm just so ever slightly shading on top of the color I've already put down, just so you can get a sense of the color being there. And because the sketch is so detailed, at first it might be a little overwhelming to even start the drawing. But my advice is just dive into it. Have fun, pick a part of the sketch that you feel most comfortable with, and lay your pencil down. Which brings me to blending. Again, we're working with water, and in this case a wave, so there shouldn't be too many hard lines or edges. I found myself layering a lot and also blending out all the little shapes. And when it came to the small detailed lines in the water, just make sure your pencil is very sharp. As you can see, I'm blending out a lot of the color using my white Prismacolor pencil crayon. I find that it really shows through well on this paper. As for the outer part of the wave, I'm pressing down very gently in circular motions. You'll also see me go in with an eraser and soften the edges as well. Now I'll be using my white gel pen from Secura over the colored pencil, and I find this really gives life to the wave. After this step, I'm going in with white acrylic paint and a fine paintbrush. And for me, this is definitely the fun part of the drawing. So once again, look at your reference photo and really see where those splashes of whites are. After this step, you'll really see your drawing come to life. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time and don't forget to subscribe.